fighting each other for over a hundred years, I mean, you must know their combat style at that point. Like, there's no winner. Is he getting inspired by them? Oh, it's a baby! <laughs> 73 of One Piece and last episode, you know, we finally landed in the little garden island and everything at first seemed normal until we realized that no, we are basically stuck in the land before time and there are dinosaurs roaming. But amongst the dinosaurs, we have Brogy and Dory. And these two giants have basically been going at it and doing this duel for the past 100 years to the point where they don't even remember why they're doing it anymore. It's almost a routine at this point. So I'm really excited to find out what is going on and see how things are going to get resolved. But before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for me. I really do appreciate it and it helps the channel grow. And you should totally check out my Patreon where I do post full uncut versions of everything. And we are weeks in advance in comparison to YouTube. So let's get into some more One Piece. A lot of power. <laughs> Holy crap. each other for over a hundred years i mean you must know their combat style at that point like there's no winner is he getting inspired by them oh <gasps> look at usab I feel like at some point you need to learn to put pride aside. Call it truth. <笑>あ、ないです。<笑> Knocked each other out. That's why the fight never ends. And knocked each other out. Holy shit! Dude, if I've been fighting somebody for the like past hundred years, we're honestly best friends at this point because like that means you've known each other and you have this routine for about a hundred years. Like I said. You've learned each other's combat style. Like, you probably are just, like, best friends. But you have this tradition going. So, like, it is what it is. Look, they're laughing. That's so cute. 
実は酒を客人からもらったそれいい久しく飲んでおまいガイドアッソグーフィーなんだ今のは妙な自信が続いたと思ったら今度はなんだ I feel like Sanji and Zoro are the two giants. <laughs> They're always competing. Probably. It's funny, I guess, because it's like the obvious thing to do. Okay, well, just go forward. Blame them. <gasps> oh no, 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 it wasn't them, it wasn't them. No, no, no. Oh, Oh my gosh, poor guy. I feel like that's his way of putting him out of his misery, but jeez, man. I'm so sad. 
Okay, well, at least he's not dead. I wonder how he managed to make it explode in... Wait a minute. <laughs> so he's basically the equivalent of Ooh, dual time. Oh, it's a baby! <laughs> that means the mommy is around. Uh oh. There's that pride. You can see. Oh. We really shouldn't be fighting in these conditions. This episode was really good. I feel extremely bad for Dory. Not only because it's kind of like a cheap shot. You know, he's out here enjoying a drink with them. So now it makes it seem like they did this, which... It, it's terrible because they were kind of having a pretty good friendship here and it's kind of unfortunate you know luffy went to the extent to try to knock him out potentially for his own good which is why he apologized before he hit him but i genuinely feel so bad he looks like he's in really critical shape but obviously due to the tradition and the pride he's going to continue the fight which also brings me to the point is it is very admirable which is why usopp usopp was so in awe over the giants and it's so funny how nami was like what you want to be a giant and then he was like what like a giant and he's like no it's just it's just amazing how they're willing to go to this extent and it's just like based on just how awesome they are and he's so flabbergasted by it i don't know i i really do like usopp so much i think he is such a sweet character and again I hope all his lies turn into truth. I feel like I feel like behind every lie there is a truth in some way, shape, or form. You just have to find it. And he is such an amazing character. <sighs> all right, let's watch the next episode. Let's see how this fight's gonna go between between the giants. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't end bad. And I think it's gonna go towards the direction of they're just gonna call it truth and not fight because in reality it's not a fair fight and one of the things that i noticed he said when she was like hey you're still kind of injured he was like well it's okay like he's injured just as bad so still it's kind of like an even level fight so i think the moment that he realizes like hey he's like hurt beyond beyond something i did i don't think he's going to continue the fight but one way to find out all right next episode <laughs> gonna squish you guys luffy run <laughs> oh 
いを始めちまった<笑>戦士でなくなれば俺はこれでなくなるのだこれは戦いの勘エルバフの下した失敗だ神とか過去とかあるとかないとかそんなの関係あるか邪魔が入った血統なんて血統じゃねえぞたかが10年や20年生きただけのお前らなどにエルバフの高き言葉が聞こえ I don't know who エルバフ is but do you literally it's not a fair fight <laughs> oh my god! Not the laugh! He's like a little cheerleader! You don't say. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's literally lying to him. Come on. Because he's Luffy. Something weird. Oh my gosh, she has like a power of illusions or something. He can create basically clones, like illusion clones. I don't know, that's so weird. <laughs> There it is. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> This is a hot mess. At least she's like being calm and collected and smart about the situation. Yeah. 
で互角の戦いをしてきたんだぞ<笑>多分世界で一番誇り高い戦いなんだぞこんな勝負のつき方があるかよどうした I'm genuinely surprised he hasn't really noticed something wrong. Oh, they're just waiting. He's creepy. Oh! <gasps> no, 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 no. Not like this, not like this, not like this. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. しなきかね。単細胞は楽でいいな。嬉しなきだと。貴様に何がわかる。一体何者だ。ミスタースリー、コードネームにて失礼。私は。literally Oh, when Luffy yelled. <笑>しかたねえ。流してやろうか。王女を呼ぶのよ。うちを開け、この草取りが。だがまあ、見てみりゃ麦わらは勝手に動けなくなってた。だからもうそいつに用はねえのさ。It's crazy how cocky they are and how they like to act like they're so tough, but they got taken out when they weren't even trying to bite them. Like, shut up. Oh god. Wax? Oh, ew! So he makes like wax? Like the wax museum, he can turn people into wax sculptures. 
Guys, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm sad for the Giants. I really hope he's not dead. Like, and the fact that he was like, oh, you're crying happy tears. No, he's not crying happy tears. God, I hate Mr. Three so much. I hate him. He's, first and foremost, you're such a cheap fighter. Like, you don't even fight. You just, you play dirty. I feel like they all play dirty. So I'm assuming he can make a wax version of anybody as long as perhaps the little girl draws them because he said that, that she's like the artist for him. I thought at first that coating was like water and like he slipped on it, but no, it's wax, which is gross. I think he's, I think they said he secretes the wax. Yeah, he secretes from his body. That's disgusting. Oh, man, I like I said, I really hope, I really hope the giant's okay. Like I want them to continue their duel for the rest of their lives because I genuinely feel like they're not even really trying to kill each other when they're actually genuinely doing, dueling. Like, it's just, again, part of, like, a tradition at this point. I I don't know. I'm just anxious. I am curious to see where Sanji is. I feel like Zoro and Sanji are going to probably encounter Mr. Three. And I think they might have to fight him because, obviously, Luffy's going to be pretty occupied with these two idiots. I am genuinely so upset they actually hurt the bird. And, I don't know, she's kind of useless so far, the princess. I don't want to say she's useless, but she's not very strong. And you're trying to protect... You're trying to protect the whole, I guess, city. But maybe she's not meant to be a fighter. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching these two episodes with me. And I will see you next time for episode 74 and 75, I think. Yep. I will see you next time for episode 4, 74 and episode 75. Bye-bye.